be showing you guys how to install a unit. Glueless, I know you all love those tutorials. As you all know, I am on a natural hair growth journey. So I've been trying to avoid glue, uh, gel, all that jazz. This is so different and it feels so good to have my natural hair out for a change. I recently blew it out while doing a crochet braid video. And if you haven't seen that one, be sure to check it out because it's so bomb. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install an affordable unit and we're gonna be installing it today glueless. I'm gonna be giving you all some options. Many of you guys have been asking me about the wig fix by Ray Natural. So I actually purchased that. So we're gonna be trying that out today. I also have some dupes that I found on Amazon. So I'm gonna be showing you all those as well using a unit from Julia Hair. And this unit is actually a bob. Let me show you all what it looks like. So this is the unit, guys, and it is a bob. I believe I got it in either length 12 or length 14, but be sure to check the description box to see which length it actually is. It's also in 150% density, and it has transparent lace. And I really enjoy working with transparent lace a great deal because this type of lace is easy to modify and get it to blend really nicely with your skin tone. Now, this is what the lace looks like up close. Now, I am gonna show you guys how to tip the lace in a moment. It is a 13 by six lace front so it is going to have six inches of parting space now this unit doesn't have an elastic band sewn on already but it does come with an elastic band that you can sew on it is in this little baggie that's provided in the box now before we actually install this unit I want to show you guys how I've been prepping my hair under my wigs in order to achieve hair growth so I've been moisturizing it a great deal I've been using these two butters lately and I absolutely love them I will link the moisturizers that I'm using in this video down below in case you guys are interested I'm gonna actually put my hair in chunky braids and try to get it as flat as possible and this is a great way to increase natural hair growth as you all have seen on my channel I wear wigs a great deal it's actually my favorite protective style and I generally just do maybe four braids or sometimes even six and I try to just get it as flat as possible and I try to make sure my ends are nicely moisturized and then I just pin it back and then begin installing my unit over but I'm gonna show you all that process now because everything will happen so get up on your feet and stop worrying about things all right, so now that my hair is moisturized and it's all prepped, I'm gonna begin pinning it down. Now the cool thing about doing four braids is that it's quick and easy, there isn't a lot of tension on your hair, and you can actually get it to be really flat in doing it this way. So I'm just going to use some bobby pins to pin it down. Everything's gonna change, gonna change when you surrender. Get rid of bad people in your life. Have faith and see that anything can happen, so get up on your feet and stop worrying about things. All right, so that part is done, and this could actually be a style. If you were to take out some little tussle curls, that would be cute. Ooh. All right, now let's put on the wig. Oh, have to get a stocking cap first. All right, this one is a little light, but I'm gonna show you guys how we can fix that. My hair actually could be a little flatter underneath, but we're gonna try to make it work. So I'm just gonna take some concealer, and I love using this Ruby Kiss 3D Face Creator. I use this in order to tint the lace as well as to modify my second cap. Hopefully that won't cause me any problems because it's not as flat as I'd like it to be, but we're gonna play around with it. So now let's try this wig on. And as you can see, it does come with long baby hair. All right, now putting the unit on, this is where it falls on me. And I really feel like this has to be length 14 rather than length 12, because it does look quite long, but if it is length 12, y'all, you get a good amount of bang for your book. Now, as you can see, this bob does not have a blunt look on the ends, but I think I'm gonna cut it so it's really blunt. Now, this unit is big head friendly. I did get an average cap size. It does feel a little big on me, but we're gonna make that work. Now, this unit doesn't come pre-styled or anything. I believe I do wanna wear it in a middle part. So let's see what that looks like, but I could very well change my mind before the end of this tutorial. <laughs> Now, I do want to try on the wig fix to see if it will keep it from sliding. Now, this is what the wig fix looks like. 
It comes in this nice little baggie, and I will say that from what I've noticed from many reviews, this particular wig grip is better for units that have a standard construction, like the ones that maybe you find in the beauty supply store. You can actually use this on a lace front unit. However, it's better to use it if the unit already has an elastic band already sewn on. But I do want to give you guys an idea of what it's capable of doing. Now, this is what it looks like. It is made of the silicone material, and it does have these little buds on it that keeps the unit from sliding. And these actually grip the unit to your head and keep it in place. Now, I've tried numerous wig grips in the past, and they're supposed to be really good for keeping your unit in place. It's supposed to reduce sliding. This one, they actually say it on the website is that it's roller coaster proof so if you're on a roller coaster or if you're dancing a great deal or if you're doing some really intense exercising something like this would be great for those who want to wear their units glueless but that want that added security in making sure that it doesn't fall off your head now i'm not sure what will happen if you're wearing this in a fight i would advise you to to go that route but if you were maybe this could help you out i don't know but we're gonna try it on and see how good it is okay i like that it actually hides that band but we're gonna see if it keeps it in place it's really snug on my head i like that as well and it also helps to compress my hair down a bit more which is good now so many people have been raving about this product so we're gonna see if all of the hype is real or not so i'm gonna pull it down now i'm tucking the lace behind my ears because as i share with you guys it is a bit large on my head but we're gonna see if i can move around a great deal with this particular unit maybe i should actually cut the lace off and then show you guys all right so as you all can see this unit does come with a pre-plucked hairline now they haven't done a great deal of work to the hairline but you could absolutely get away with it looking fairly natural with what they've already done. The knots on the unit also seem to be lightly bleached, so that's a really good start as well. But I'm really liking how this lace looks. It seems to be a thinner lace, so it is going to melt really nicely into the skin. Before we actually cut the lace off, I do wanna tint the lace. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna add the same product that I added to my stocking cap. So we're gonna cut the lace off and begin installing the unit. You driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay so got me trying to stay so Wanna do your love and I'm out here hungover. You made me wanna take you to London, Paris. Times with cherries. Don't compare it to you. Alright, now that the lace is off, let's try it out now. It would have been so much better if we had an elastic band. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's see, how can I make this work? You see how I do have some lifting in that area? It's not flush to my head because I share with you guys, I feel like the unit is a little large. So, let's see. You know what, I should try the adjustable straps. Let's see if that helps. I think I'm actually gonna just like tie them. Maybe if I tie them instead of actually inserting them in these little loopholes, you can actually just tie this kind of tight and that'll probably make it more secure. Let's see. All right, so this is what it's looking like in the back. Now, I don't know if that's gonna be too snug on my head, but let's see if that's a good fix. Oh, it feels much tighter. Okay. OMG. I think that might have done it, guys. And I never really use my adjustable straps. They are so helpful. Wow. Y'all, this unit is so flush to my head. That looks so much better. And I didn't have to sew on an elastic band or anything. All right, now let's take these clips off. All right, we're looking a little crazy right now, but I'm really excited because I didn't have to sew on an elastic band. 
we were able to fix our issue really quick. And this wig fix, y'all, this unit ain't going nowhere. Look how flat that is to my head. Now, the sides, they lift a little bit. But if you're wearing a middle part, you don't even have to worry about that. This lace looks so good. I think I also want to go ahead into the part and make it look more refined. Because it doesn't really stand out as much as I want it to right now. So let's fix that too. Now to flatten it out at the top, I do like to use my hot comb in order to do so. But before actually putting the hot comb on that area, I will be using my Sebastian Shaper holding spray. Now that I flattened out the top, I'm not sure if I actually want to cut it. I'm wondering if I should just put some nice loose curls in it. I think I want to try that and see how it looks. And if I don't like it, then I'll actually go through the process of cutting it. And this is what it looks like. I also changed my top. I felt like this top looked really good with this look. And I used my Be Professional curling wand. And I shared this in a recent tutorial. I love this thing. I also used my flat iron to do some of the curls because I just got tired of using the curl wand. But it did do a really good job. And this unit can stand a good amount of heat. This curl wand was on 450 and it didn't burn at all, which is good. So now I'm just going to finger comb the curls. I don't want to disturb them too much. And I might actually go in with a wide tooth comb. I'm really liking this look, y'all. I don't believe I'm actually going to cut it now. I've done straight blood cut bobs quite a bit on my channel. So I decided to switch it up and do these loose curls on this lob, a long bob, if you guys didn't know what that meant. I can't even believe this is glueless. Like, oh my goodness, this is so awesome. This looks so good and I cannot believe this is 100% glueless. And y'all, this was a unit that didn't even fit my head. I cannot believe that this is 100% glueless. This unit looks so flush to my head. Using the adjustable strap in the back and tying it rather than inserting it into those holes was such a good idea. And putting on this wig fix. This unit, is not going anywhere and when they say roller coaster proof i kind of believe them i thought that was like really far-fetched when i saw that on the website but listen let me show you all how official it is pretend we're on a roller coaster feeling this be sure to check the description box to see what length i actually got as well as all the specifications for this unit julia here is actually having a back to school sale and this will be a really great option for back to school it's really easy to install as i showed you guys and you can easily keep it secure and do it 100 glueless so i know you guys are going to be on the go soon some of you guys are going to be going back to campus and you may want to wear a unit but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it and you don't want to do a lot of work. So I showed you guys in this video how you can hook it up, wear it glueless, get a melted lace look. 
because the lace looks melted, y'all. Even if the wind blows, because of the way the curls are structured, it's going to conceal the hairline. And it's going to look like this could be your hair. So that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun with it. I didn't know what to expect going into it, but I'm so glad I tried the wig fix. I really enjoyed trying it out. Now, if you do want a more affordable option, because the wig fix is actually about $34, which is quite expensive, but it is a black-owned brand, so if you want to support, then I'd advise you guys to try it out. But I did also purchase these non-slip silicone wig grips and these were on amazon and i paid let me see so this is the color of this one i also got a pack of two and i hope i can find the links for these because it's really cool to have two of them in a pack rather than one this one was actually eight dollars and these two i can't remember the price but i know they were definitely much less than $30. So I'm going to link those in the description box if I can find the links. I'll also be sure to link this unit. So you all be sure to check it out. Also like this video, comment and subscribe. I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and turn on those notifications so that you know when I post a new video. I love you guys and I'll see you all in the next one.